Mim. My name is Mim Shea, coming from my brother Yasa, BBC Asian Network. Friday night's new music, 9 till 12. And we've got into this all important time of the show where I've got three incredible artists literally opposite me right now. Let me introduce them individually. We've got Lost Soldier, a female Yo. rapper who's worked with the likes of Angel Hayes. What are you saying? Big up, Mim. Big up, Mim. <laughs> Look at you on air, though. This we're, is sick. We're here, we're here, man. Thank you for having me. And we got Still Bangles. What's good, fam? What's what are you good, saying, man? my brother? You all right? I'm good, man. What's the deal, man? He's What's worked deal, with man? the likes of DVS, J Spades, Diljit Desanj, and French Montana. Look at that light work. <laughs> it's all love, man. We got the Asian crew. Yeah, I'm really. telling you. I'm telling you. And then we've got Shah Ravel. Yo, what's going on, man? A guy who was so eager to come to this debate today, yeah? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come, that's good thing. On, that's a good thing, man. Hang on, Shah. He was so but, eager to I, come to this debate today I, I, that he arrived. I'm gonna chuck on the homie. I'm gonna chuck on the homie. He said AM. <laughs> no, he said, I don't care. I'm gonna chuck on the homie. You gotta hold my up like that, man. He decided to come at 10 AM, <laughs> 12 hours before. <laughs> Charavel with I Won't Leave. And he's definitely not leaving because he's been in the BBC studio <laughs> no, since no, 10 AM no, no, in the morning. No, no. But you know what? Whilst we was off air, he was telling me a very, very interesting fact about I Won't Leave, yeah? about how the fact that you've actually made two versions of it. Yeah. One with an Asian sound in Dumbian and one without. Yeah. What one do you prefer? One without. So why make the one with? Again, that comes to the politics. Pleasing the playlisters for the Asian because the Asian... Bro, it's what Hermit was saying, yeah. I'm an Asian, full stop, support me. Course. I'm an Asian. Of course. But it's not just that they want the Asian ding ling ling or this, that or... <laughs> They want all of that, bro. You know, they want that. Then they say, yeah, oh, I, I, I'll do that for you. You go to a PR guy, yeah, long as you got that, yeah, I, I, I'll give that to the DJ. I go, why can't I just give my music and you just say, okay, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do I'll do my job. Be honest with me, yeah. Like, say, coming from, say, Asian heritage, yeah, a female being a rapper within the Asian community, how has it been perceived for you? Like, how do you feel people have seen you embraced you or shunned you in any particular there, there's pros and cons i think the pros outweigh the cons okay um obviously because it's not many um asian females that would come about where they'd be rapping or their family would uh, allow them rapping um that's not really been an issue with me um so in that sense it's a pro but then for the industry it's a con because there's not a lot of female rappers Move into bangles, yeah. Like yeah. I've been following your work for a hot second, like yeah, in man. terms of the beats that you made for Crepton Conan back in the day when they yeah. used to spit bar 16s, 32s. Yeah. And it's like I feel like that has been your comfort zone, yeah, in yeah. terms of naturally. Yeah. But now yeah, yeah, you've yeah. come and decided to move on and branch into the Asian music mm -hmm, scene. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I, f I feel like a lot of producers and a lot of artists are not growing with what I've grown up with. Like, I should have had a go down south in Asian music. Yes. I should have a don't waste my time in Asian music. Yes. I should have a cash-tastic in Asian music. Yeah. I should be using my power, my skill to bring up Asian music to a standard that it's not at right now. Fully. Like, RDB, in, in, even though they were looping garage loops or PMC was taking Busta Rhyme beats, they brought that to the current market at that current time and created, created songs that the Asians and the other people could work with. And that's why I got French Montana with jazz. That's why I've done crazy. And that's why I've done that to, to to bring a certain level of music that's not there, you know. No, nah. and that's that, and that's and that's how I'm rolling, man. And that's just how I feel, you know what I'm saying. And, and I just feel like not enough Asian people are bringing in the new sound, like i.e. the David Guetta's or the Trap. Okay, and that, them beats ain't coming in. True, no, you no, know no. what I mean. And that's yeah. the problem. And I blame it on these labels. I don't want to say no names, but they're just making factory music. Your artists will go to them. They'll, they'll get a thumbi loop. They'll get a door loop. They'll go and get the song written in India. And next man will sing it. And it sounds like every other banger tune on yeah, the radio. That sounds that's so messing up similar. Industry. It's yeah. that what you're saying, bro. Again, I don't understand Bangra, but you know the Bangra, like no disrespect, man. Are, like a lot of the credible artists and stuff like yeah, that. They, they're legends and what they do. But it sounds the same. Yeah. Like yeah. the dingling ling. I agree with the you. format, the breaks, the, the vocal style. There's no no like there's no new way of flows or nothing. Like that's why Mickey Singh's gonna be big, because he's doing crazy flows on on like hip-hop beats and stuff. Bro. He does but with Dawn. But in, in Punjabi, and you just think, wow, that guy's just more whole. You know what's a great a great point with this is when you when we played I Won't Leave and Bangles caught out the fact that who produced that beat? Mm. Mumsy. And then who was Mumsy influenced by? 
Rishi, say there we go, yeah, and it's yeah, yeah, what yeah. you just said. I could hear the drum cycle. pattern. The doof, 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 there you go. Doof. That's like common, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the problem. Yeah, you know you're a producer. Saying? You'd know that. You'll pick yeah, it up. So that's so, just what it is. Back to the Asian thing, though, brother. Yeah, if yeah. I just, uh, I just want to say, like, I, I, there's a lot of people selling false dreams to people, and we have an influx of loads of artists, and then we have the same video director providing the same videos, <laughs> then the same radio and the same uh, TV is playing the same kind of thing, and we yeah. don't have an image. We don't have a standard that we're setting that we need to set that man yeah. like real talk man where yeah, do you man. feel that we're going then like right now you, we know where we are right and yeah. we've got people like Bangles who's yeah. working with French Montana I, and Jazz Darmy we got people like Lost Soldier yeah. collaborating with Angel Hayes we got Shah Ravel yeah. teaming up with Always Recording yeah three yeah. artists right here who I feel are doing well in I, terms of your musical career where are we going as I a believe, whole I believe what Steel was saying again I believe it's up it's up to us lot now it's up to us lot to change it we seen it now we could talk about it we could come on BBC Asian Network and we could talk about it yeah. but we need to do it do something do you get me? About we need it. to do something about it do you get me and this bear like in the Asian scene like I go to a lot of gigs brother yeah as indoors man's got sunglasses on like he's getting Lil Wayne money it's, it don't go down like that <laughs> like, there's so much ego yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, much, too much too much yeah. with your faded that LV belt and that yeah what I'm saying <laughs> but there's not, I'm being real but there's so much ego like the yeah, Asian the, the scene is so small brother yeah I'm pretty sure yeah a lot of people see each other's music but they're not going to retweet they're Tweet, not, nothing. They're, they're not going to do no nothing support. no support see what it is I, I love having the discussion about how we do and I feel like it's healthy for the scene for people to grow for people to listen just to take it in but when actions are actually demonstrated and are happening it's amazing all, yeah. I, all I can say is a massive massive thank you to Charvel Lost Soldier Still Bangles for coming through on the BBC Asian thank Network thank you for having us bro. thank you and Mim. you know what and thank to you guys but the producers Mims yeah. Lime Lack like, you know, thank you because yeah, you guys give like you guys do so much for us. Like, look at that. You, you, you.